So in this case, we're talking about automated wealth and we're talking about making profits in cryptocurrency. Now, the another thing that I want to tell you is, is that some people say, well, how does it all work? I know this is probably going to be another scam or blah, 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 blah. It's very simple. The cryptocurrency market is going like this. It's worth at a minimum $7 trillion. Right now, I think it's at about $700 billion. So not even at $1 trillion yet. So this is where the money is coming from. So if anybody's saying, well, so where's the money coming from? Because in a pyramid scheme, of course, the money's coming from the new people that are coming in. That's how it all works. So all, a lot of these things, hey, where's the money coming from? You got to know if you're not trying to get scammed, where is the money coming from? And I'm telling you, the money is coming from the adoption of this new, these new digital currencies that are worth at least $7 trillion in a market that only has a $700 billion saturation. So you have all of that room in there. And so that money is going to land in somebody's pocket. So if you've ever started a business before, you know, generally what you do is you go and you investigate uh, what industry this is and how much that industry is worth and what percentage of that industry do you plan on getting? Okay, so then in, like, so let's say daycare, right? So you have a daycare, this is a $2 billion industry. You start a daycare in, I don't know, Chicago, you should be able to get 0.5% of that, that money. And then that equates to, and then you have a specific number. Okay, so that's how you calculate what industry you're gonna be going in to determine through analytics, are, am I gonna make money or not? So in cryptocurrency, what we're saying is, is that the industry is worth $7 trillion, about 700 billion of it is already taken up. There's plenty of room there. The money's gonna land in somebody's pocket. So where are you at? And the benefit of this is you're only dealing with money. There's no other, uh, uh, like a product or shipping or a book or something like this, which again, I'm calling in this conversation, a middleman, because it generally takes you to get that to work too, in order for it to start to churn versus in this, it's already churning. You just need to figure out how to get your coffers out there so that you can catch the wealth that's coming through. Right. And it's already being done. So the next thing is, is that if you look at, um, let me see, we talk about you. I'm going through my notes here because, you know, I can really, I have some specific stuff. That's why I said we're going to be here for an hour. I'm going to explain to you some new features of tuning this thing up a bit more, but I wanted to give you a prelude, especially for those that are just jumping in and we'll share this recording later of how this all started and that we're already using it. It's already working, but why it's working, because that's generally what you get from people. You're talking about free money. It's not free. It's just coming through some other area. And this is about you getting some of it. All right. So. I'll also say in conclusion that in that whole advent of me coming into this massive spiritual awareness and learning everything about what you could do with your body and your consciousness and coming out of the body and flying into other atmospheres and all this kind of stuff, I'm still here to tell you that I went through all those experiences. I still go through those experiences, but I also have to make it back to the world every single morning or every time I come out of meditation, okay? And, and what makes that funny then to me is, is that that to me is something that only a small percentage of people are really trying to understand, right? Which is to me also a bit humbling because I thought that that was going to be the big thing that was going to take us all to the next level. Now I'm in somewhat of another arena and I'm delivering information just about what I feel like our people are facing issues with the most money to solve that problem. So maybe when you get your money together, you can start figuring out what's going on with your soul. Because the same type of dynamics that we're talking about, how we broke down this whole money thing and we basically defeated the money monster, is the same thing that you're going to have to go through in life to defeat many of the things that are holding you back. I will say for the record that when you start blowing out of these, blowing out into another framework, what you realize is that it's all the mind. And because most people don't have control over their mind, they definitely don't have control over their wealth and many other things. And it's as simple as if I'm so concerned about what another person thinks about me, what they think that I look like, right? So you're, you may be concerned that people are, are thinking about what you look like, but you're gonna be 70 soon, hopefully. And I'm telling you, you're probably not gonna look like spring chicken at that stage. So it just means getting mature and just understanding what do I need to be doing now for myself rather than trying to see what the game is talking about or seeing what somebody else is talking about that at the end of the day is also probably wasting their time and is not going to be able to bail you out out of any situation that you're experiencing. So this is about basically maturity. 
And that's what becoming your own bank is, is maturity. Because now when the money is moving around, you're responsible for taking profits. You're responsible for how much money you're putting in. You're responsible for even make sure somebody doesn't come and steal your money. But this responsibility also gives you sovereignty. And it also puts you in the current to where all the money is moving right now. Okay. So what I want to talk about again is, of course, there's a lot of scams out there, as I mentioned earlier. Like, I think there's a few YouTube channels that are now just dedicated to scams. Okay. So there's many of them out there. And I want to tell anybody here that is skeptical, what we built is, is we built a system that is trustless. And again, what that means is, is that means that you could use the system and see how the system will work and not actually spend any money. So how that's accomplished with WealthyBot, which is at WealthyBot.io, is you basically go in, you start an account, and you start up a simulator or a simulation. The simulation is going to start off with $10,000 of fake money, and it's going to start trading that money for you automatically on a live exchange. Once you start making transaction purchases and sales, you're going to get emails about that. Hey, WealthyBot's making a purchase. Hey, WealthyBot is making a sale. Now, this, is, this would be technically real money, except for it is in a, a simulator. So you're able to see, oh, wow, I would have made $100 today. Oh, wow, I would have made $5,000 over four months. You can see that before you decide to put any kind of investments in. Also, we don't hold your investment. The software is that. It's a software. So it's just designed to tie into your exchange, which we help you learn how to set up an exchange, et cetera. And it just does all the trading for you. So your capital is always available in the exchange. So any person that's an investor knows never can you really get an investment happening that you can pull your money anytime you want. You go invest in Apple. You may even put the money in the stocks. And then when it's time for you to pull the money, then you're going to have to do all these different things to actually get ready to pull all the money out, right? It's generally also even a taxable event. If you invest on the ground level, it's definitely more difficult to get your money out because you need to make, you need to wait until the company is in profit. So never do you really walk into a business deal. If you can imagine your, your, your friend that says, hey man, I, I want the cash to start a wing stand. And, you, and he said, I need $20,000 and I'm going to give you back $30,000 off the money. So you thousand dollars and hope his business works and then hope when he starts making money he's going to pay you and that's of course why most people don't get paid so this is totally different if you said i'm going to invest twenty thousand dollars and then two weeks from now you said hey I, I just decided i want to take all my profits and i'm out you can go and get your profits within a minute two three minutes depending upon how fast you can transfer your funds and your funds are right there in your pocket and you can move on so there's nothing like that in the past, traditional investors are generally looking for 3% of profit, and they're willing to let that sit there for three years or four or to three to five years before they start getting their money back. We see four to five percent profit daily. So I want to explain a little bit about how the system works so that way everybody understands what happens and what it does. I started talking about, and again, if anybody's on the um, if anybody is on any of our podcast lines. We're actually on YouTube.com, YouTube uh, forward slash understanding. And then you can actually see the images of what I'm showing here. And that's just if you're on the voice and you want to see pictures of what I'm actually showing. So what I'm basically showing is that I'm showing a live trader. It's actually in action right now. It started off with $6,000. It's been running for five months and it's now made $10,239 in profit without doing anything. We set it and then we forget it. It's not even super tuned. And in this, what's happening is, is this, this bot, basically, this script is going in and out of the market, in and out of the market, in and out of the market. See, because what people are, sometimes are looking at is they want to put money into Bitcoin or put money into cryptocurrency and they treat it like a lottery ticket. They're waiting for it to go way up there, $2 million. I don't know what the next uh, uh, valuation for Bitcoin is. They want it to go up to 150000 and then they're going to pull out that little $20 investment that they put in, and it's going to be $10,000 or something. So they, they go with these ideas that are not even really mathematically ethical. What this is about and what this system does is it actually makes microtransactions. So all of that up and down, up and down, up and down that's going on inside the market, it's taking those little percentages of that up and down. So those little 3%, 4%, 5% is going to go in, come out, go in, come out, and then reinvest the profit. So if you look at this, this uh, build, what it's done is the reason why you see this number $308,000 is you'll see that it's done that 
that many times with that original six thousand dollars so that should be very clear on how this works it just goes in and out of the market based on the fluctuations of the market so let's look at those fluctuations really briefly if you notice here you got this squiggly line and every time that's going up and down up and down up and down up and down it's basically getting that little small percentage that three to five percent so while some people were thinking hey this cryptocurrency thing it's kind of like not really that great because it's volatile the bot loves that wealthy bot loves that it actually loves that volatility because in that volatility it's just getting that as you see it's been 24 hours here on this column let me blow it up for you a little bit this is coin market cap you see in 24 hours this has fluctuated 2.35 percent this one has fluctuated three percent so what if in that fluctuation you just took your three percent profits and you were gone and then you waited to it dropped a little bit again and then you bought in again that's what the script does in its most basic way and in that over time you start accumulating wealth and then it just builds itself okay so that's how the system works and what we've also done is is that so answering that original issue well how do i get it to work if i'm jumping into the cryptocurrency market there's a few things that i need to know where am i going to find that information so that's what we did we built these simple tutorials which you'll find at the top of the wealthybot.io site and those tutorials will guide you through the process of from beginner all the way to banker so it will show it will tell you everything about how it works. I wrote a book, a little small pamphlet called The Crypto Bible. It lets you understand all the terminology. You're able to download that here for free. You're able to go and visit our support docs, which are here, which lets you know every single thing you need to know about WealthyBot. And we encourage everyone here to read through these articles so you know how this works. But we also have a support group in Telegram where there's about a thousand of us in that group. And if you ask a question and it doesn't just seem like you didn't read anything and you're going to be asking questions through the whole process, someone will assist you with getting through that process so that you can get set up. So it is that simple. If you invest the time in this, it'll be something that your kids, your mother, your aunties, your uncles, everybody around you will be like, man, I'm glad that you, you know, took the time out to educate yourself in the most advanced technologies that are actually available right now. So digital currency is the most advanced technology available right now when it comes to building wealth, right? So continuing with this, I wanted to talk about, let me see, because I'm, I'm almost done here. I'm going to get right into features. Let me just look over my notes here. Okay. So we're going to be talking about tips and tricks of basically superpowering wealthy bot if you just didn't want to set it and forget it uh, we talked about the telegram group and how we offer you support there and how the support uh, docs are available okay i also wanted to talk to you about adoption okay adoption is big adoption literally is how do i spin this because <laughs> i'm not into that either i'm building up all this digital currency you know, and for all I know, they could delete this with an EMF tomorrow. So I'm not trusting these systems or any of these systems. I learned enough about how all this works to not be putting trust in them. However, if you can build capital and then you can transfer that capital into resources, now you have something. So we're not asking you to just hold Bitcoin for the next 20 years, even though if you do, that's your prerogative. What we're also saying is that you got to cash out at some point because that's really what's going on with most people they're like well i don't really have enough money to invest we have people with 50 dollars in the system investing and churning off of that so there's a misconception that well i don't have any, enough money to invest because if i put my money into this cryptocurrency and i need to buy i don't know some socks how am i going to go and buy that since where am i going to find a place that takes the cryptocurrency so not only in january is paypal coming in so this means that every place that you can use paypal you will be able to use crypto it's also in cash app even I the other day was like, well, let me, I need, I need to buy some stuff and I'd rather use the profits that I've been making to actually buy it. So I went down over here to purse.io, which I've known about for a while, but I've, I've never used it. I decided to boot it up, use it. It worked. So what I did is, and how this site works is it basically allows you to buy anything off Amazon and pretty much anything you need is on Amazon. So I went in, I just typed in like I did just now what I was looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for a generator and it shows me all the generators on Amazon. 
Okay. So then I click one of these generators and what happens is, is that they basically take Bitcoin for this generator. So who the people are behind this, they call them earners. What they are is people who have access to gift cards, Amazon gift cards through one means or another. And then what they want to do is, is they want to exchange those gift cards for Bitcoin. And so what they do is they become an earner in purchase.io and then they sell off their gift cards for anybody who wants to come in and make a purchase. Now, I bought this YOLO box. Uh, it cost about $1,000 and I did the transaction. It took a day for it to go through, but it went through. So the reason why I'm mentioning this, though, is that, again, there's this stigma that people think that if I start making this money in the cryptocurrency, that I'm not going to be able to spend it and that's why I'm not investing right now because I don't have enough money to sit aside like that. And what I'm telling you is, is that you have two ways to always win with something like this. So even if one way loses, you break even. And what I mean by that is in cryptocurrency, let's say as a business, if you're taking cryptocurrency as a form of payment, you have two ways of winning. The first way is somebody bought the product. Great. So you won. The second way is if somebody, let's say one person bought the product, you're holding that that investment or that purchase inside of cryptocurrency and the charts go up, even if somebody didn't buy the product again, you still now have more money because every time the charts go up and you're holding Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency, that amount increases. So I feel like that this is the odds that a lot of people need to succeed. I always call this, uh, this phenomenon half magic. And it's basically that people seem to not be able to manifest exactly what they need. They kind of get halfway and then they're trying to figure out how to like, get the other half. So what cryptocurrency offers is two separate ways for you to actually be able to succeed. One in the purchase of it, and then two, it going up. So just think about that as far as an odds thing and about, about how you can come into profits and expect money to come in just because the market is actually going up. And then also, if you already have a business already, you need to jump into Coinbase and set up a gateway and start taking cryptocurrency for whatever it is that you're doing. I know a friend, he did that three years ago. Still, I mean, I have a hard time catching up with this guy. He's already a multimillionaire because he started taking Bitcoins for some things that he was selling in his business. He started taking Bitcoins at $500. And of course, Bitcoin is at $27,000. So what did that do? That took his whole retirement plan, which was stretched out here, and it put it right here. And hey, that's just how lucky he was, right? So, or is it skill? Because the reality is, is that if you had been paying attention, you would have saw, saw all this coming. Now, the benefit also of purse.io, purse, purse if you get into that sovereignty thing, is that it's absolutely anonymous, meaning that you're able to hot swap, even from the wealthy bot gateways, you're able to hot swap your Bitcoin and your cryptocurrency around with your own privacy. And so that's something that I feel is big. So we're going to keep going with this. I just wanted to demystify this, this untruth that there you can't spend cryptocurrency. And for many of us that are just trying to become sovereigns, we're trying to get off the grid. We don't want to deal with the system anymore. Again, just having a bunch of Bitcoin seems like an option, but it's like, well, if it builds, I want to be able to buy parts with it. I want to be able to buy lumber with it. I want to be able to buy some tents with it, some generators, et cetera. And you can do that right now. And when it hits January, when PayPal comes in, where the charts are going to keep going aggressively up or at least stay in that up, down, up, down, there's going to be more money made. So we've now got new features inside of the software that makes it a lot easy for you, a lot more easier for you to pull profits. And this is because we're very concerned about pulling profits. I feel like that making profits is just as important as pulling profits. Some just see profits coming in and don't know how to get off those profits. So I just want to let you know there's a lot of adaptations already available to allow you to get off your profits and transfer your profits into actual resources. So now there's really no reason why you shouldn't be in. Also, I see someone mentioned Binance in here. That's another thing that I meant to put in my notes. The reason why we use the Binance exchange is that you can actually jump on Binance.com and you can actually begin to transact there and you can do up to one Bitcoin a day with your privacy. So I'll say it as much as that, but it's just there's a method here that allows you to be able to sustain yourself through automated wealth anonymously. And that is in itself golden. But again, where are we at? So... 
I wanted to talk about very briefly some settings because we're almost also coming to a conclusion. We got about 15 minutes here. So my goal today was to come in here and to, to let you see how we've even supercharged the platform more with some new settings that allow you to make some things happening happen. So we sent out an email recently about how during bull runs, like what we're in right now, that the up down strategy, which means just take money when it's going up, down, up, down, when set to 1.8% was catching a lot of traction. So I'm just going to show that briefly on the screen here so it makes sense. And what you're looking at here is that we're inside of the, of the traders. This is all of the different coins that we're trading on, uh, in this case, Binance right now. So I'm going to go into the settings of this trader. And again, if none of this makes sense, it's because you haven't read any of the docs yet. So it will make sense to you once you read things. But I have an option here. And let me blow this up just a little bit for those that are trying to preserve their eyes. We have an option here that says up, down, the, strat the trading strategy. You see this? So we only have two trading, trading strategies that we work with. This is to simplify this process because make no mistake, there are other bots out there. There's GunBot, there's a few other bots, but they got a million settings. They seem to pr pride themselves on how many settings they can have. So when people get in there, they start pushing all these settings and then just losing money because most of those settings are actually designed to work in the stock market. They're not designed to work inside of the cryptocurrency volatile fields. So we've only taken settings and setups that actually work well with cryptocurrency. We may increase this to a couple more as we go, but this works. So our first strategy that you see here is the wealthy bot strategy. This strategy is designed to, even if you set a certain percentage that you want this trade to close at, right now this is set to 1.8%. I have this on the up down strategy, but if I had this on the wealthy bot strategy, once this position went above 1.8%, it may not close that position. It may try to see how much more money it could get before it closes the position. It does this based on moving averages and other data that the trader has. So very directly, wealthy bot will, the wealthy bot setting will allow you to get more money if it can, okay? Versus the up and down setting generally will sell the position at exactly whatever it is that you indicate or as close as possible. So in this case, if I put in one point uh, one dollar and eighty tether, or one one point eight zero tether, I, or excuse me, per, percentage, I want this to close at one point eight percent of profit. So I'm literally saying to to uh, clarify this: Hey, when this thing gets to one point eight percent in profit, close my sale. Okay. So what this strategy will do is it will close that sale right away. And so what we've noticed is, is we've noticed in this market, and this was uh, our amazing developers on their side, always doing the best that they can to give us all the information that we need to have on this end to make this product work and actually deliver something to everyone. Big kudos to them. They were saying, hey, this up down strategy we're seeing is it's turning, it's making a lot of capital. So of course, I'm using this now. So what we do is, is we send these emails out. We tell you, hey, this is something that's working. And we plan on doing that more, especially as we get more and more quantitative data in about other traders running and other coins and different things that are happening that will make you better profit. So this is a community. This is a tribe. It's not just, hey, you're on your own. And we assist each other in getting to the next stage of utilizing this. But again, for those that don't want to deal with any of this, you can always set it and forget it, as we say. So I wanted to talk today about uh, liquidating positions, okay? Like basically selling profits, taking profits, because there are some in the system now that, you know, they have this question from time to time, how do I take profits? Also, all this is available in our help docs. We now have two ways for you to take profits that are pretty easy to activate inside of your account. So imagine this then, so let's just understand what's happening here to understand why we would need to set the system so that it takes profits. So what the system is doing now is, is when you put some money into the exchange, in this case, you'll put it in the format of Tether. Let's say you have 2000 Tether, which is the equivalent of about $2,000. And you put this inside of the exchange. Once you put it into Tether format, now WealthyBot sees that money through the API and it says, okay, I'm gonna start investing this money. And WealthyBot's going to start making decisions and taking positions in different coins, whatever coins that you select that you wanted to take uh, positions in. However, 
if the if the trader has been running for a prolonged period, it will have a tendency to use up all of the investment that is actually available. So this means that when you want to take profits, the profits may not necessarily be there because they it keeps reinvesting these profits. So I want to teach you in the system today of how to kind of throttle back the trading so that way you can take profits, okay? So, and we sent an email out about this. So the a simple way that I use, and we're just gonna take this, again, this is a list of all the traders. Let me uh, go ahead and remove myself from the screen here. So this is one trader. This is a Bitcoin trader, it's trading Bitcoin. I'm gonna go in here into the settings. And what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna tell this trader, hey, um, don't buy any more Bitcoin. And, but the positions that you have open right now, still close them based on this criteria. But once you're done closing them, don't buy any more. Now, the purpose of doing this is basically, now there's even an easier way that just came out in a new feature, which is amazing because the developers have been, again, knocking it out of the park with making things a lot more easier. But this was our traditional way. And you can still also use this to basically throttle back a trader and to really get it to close the positions that it has open before it starts investing again. So this is very simple logic. I'm just going to click this, this button and I'm going to blow this up just a little bit more. And this button says, stop purchases above a certain rate. Okay, stop purchases above a certain rate. This is easy as it sounds. I'm saying stop making purchases if this cryptocurrency, in this case, Bitcoin, is above a dollar. Now we know Bitcoin is at $27,000. So this is basically saying to the trader, hey, don't trade anymore. But the reason why I want to do it this way instead of deleting the trader is because this trader will have positions open and I wanted to close those positions. So if I went down this entire list and I did that, which I actually did on the bull run, sometimes I have a tendency to clean up during a bull run. It's kind of like my own paranoia. I'll sell into the wall. You know, these are good traits. You, if you see things going up and you have a lot of positions open, you can stop your traders, let your traders sell into the wall. They will close all the positions and then you will have all of that profit sitting inside of, uh, inside of your exchange in the format of Tether. OK, however, there is even an easier way now. The easier way is, is that you would go back into the exchange. OK, so I'm going to I'm clicking here on the side where it says exchanges. So I have only one exchange running. I have the test simulator here and then I have the Binance exchange. Right. That's all I need. So I'm going inside of the Binance exchange here. And uh, I think I probably have to zap my APIs and I'm done with the call, but it's all good. I'm clicking on enable the reserved amount, okay? And with this, what I'm capable of doing is I'm capable of saying, all right, well, technically what I wanna do is I want to take $1,000 in profit at some point, okay? I wanna take $1,000 in profit. So I'm telling it, hey, spend all of the money except for $1,000. That's what I'm telling it. So when I put $1,000 here and I save that, which I, I may take $1,000, just test it out, make sure it works. So the reality is what I'm doing is, is I'm telling this trader, hey, go ahead and when you accrue $1,000 again, keep it there. Don't reinvest it. So what this allow me to do is within a week or two, depending on how much traction is on the charts and how much money I have invested, I'll see my thousand dollars sitting there in the exchange and I can choose that then to move that to a cold wallet and I've collected my profits. So to make this very simple again, whatever amount that you're looking to take as profits, you need to liquidate that amount from the exchange because generally the bot will be using up everything that you have in the format of USDT. So if you set this here, as I showed you just a minute ago, and you say 500, then it's eventually going to hold $500 in profit. So that's as easy as how that works. And again, this is the fastest way to set the traders. So that way you're like, hey, if it, even if it's $100, and then it will start accruing that money there. One thing that you need to be careful of though, is that you don't set that number to less money that you, than you have in the exchange in the first place, right? Seems like common sense, but we wanna make sure that you know. 
Um, again, this is the super tuning process for those that are just jumping in and saying, hey, maybe that's, that's a little too complex for me. You can always set it, forget it. You can set your traders into $1, pull your profits, all your profits when you want to. You can set specific numbers and pull the profits that way. Um, here's another thing. Another big benefit of setting that $1,000 there is we know that, or whatever that amount is, is we know that from time to time, we have flash crashes, right? Where we see that maybe institutional money or whoever it is will come and fleece the market really briefly for maybe a billion or two. Sometimes this calls a panic sell and we can see the market drop maybe 20%. Now, we've seen this all before. So we'll have a tendency to just wait we have to. We wait it out. And sure enough, just as you see it at 27,000 now, it will eventually reach back to that point of negative profits or what we call the red. And then it will start popping into the green and then it will start closing those positions. But the benefit also of the feature that I just showed you is, is that if you already know you have a trader running and let's say, for instance, with this trader, it's sitting on 10,239 tether inside of the Binance exchange. I may say, all right, well, I want to reserve $3,000 of this so I can catch action in the flash crash. And what I mean by that is if I have $3,000 of this still sitting in there and I'm telling the wealthy bot, don't touch that $3,000, if there's a, a crash early in the morning of 20%, I can then uncheck that box and I can then release that amount. So I would just uncheck this and then I will release that amount and wealthy bot will begin to trade on the dip with the reserve capital that I have. Now, why is that important? That's important because now, if you utilize that feature, even though it takes a little bit more management than the set it and forget it, you will probably at least increase your profits by 50%. Why? Because generally, if the market dips and all those positions are uh, open and they're in the red, now you're on the floor, let's say, and now you're waiting for things to go back up, before you can start collecting profit again, this is gonna take some time. However, if while it's on the floor, you release your reserve, now it's gonna start investing. So as it's coming up, you're also making profits on that shelf. And then also when it reaches that, that higher shelf, okay? So I trust that that makes sense. If there's something that you need to know more about that, then definitely hit us up in support. I wanna also show you another technique that Again, if you're super tuning, I feel like it's necessary at times when, you know, you really get into this. And if you want to, again, maximize your profits, let me turn me off here so you can see the whole screen. I'm going to show you example here. Now, obviously, as you know, if you're using the system, we don't trade every single cryptocurrency. There's a reason for that. We actually look first for USDT pairs. And then we're also looking for coins that have the type of um, what we call not only volatility, but also the type of market cap and volume that we're looking for. So basically there needs to be money in the coin for there to be money to collect. So what we do is we always pick what we feel are the best projects, okay? However, from time to time you get a ripple scenario. Okay, everybody knows what happened to Ripple. They've been subpoenaed. So are they still in third percent? <laughs> third, I guess, how does Tether? Ooh, these two. So anyway, so now they're not in third anymore. They're now in fourth and they're dropping down the charts because as you know, that XRP has been subpoenaed and this is causing some FUD or some doubt. And really in this market, it's not that XRP is probably not gonna make it through. It's that, hey, if there's something even going on with this, people will just go on to another coin. There's hundreds of them. So we know we had a, a situation with XRP and they've fallen off. Wow, that's a heavy fall. Let's see, what is that? Was that recently? Yeah, no, that's 2018. So they kind of fell. I guess I need to zoom in a little bit more here in the three month. Okay, so you see there's a fall here, right? So these things you just can't prevent. Sometimes you can't even call this. I don't think anybody was able to call this. Actually, some people were able to call this because they kind of know that uh, XRP has been a little full of crap. So something finally happened, it drops off. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because sometimes you can do maintenance on your, your positions and that will allow you to prevent situations from happening because you just know the coin. So I always say, definitely investigate the project so that you can know the coin. I'm gonna give you an example here with Helium. So again, those who knew about <clears throat> uh, Ripple, even though we received a high request to add Ripple. I think Ripple was mooning. 
and people were saying, hey, hey, why don't you have Ripple in the system? So after a few delegations and decisions, we decided to add it, okay? You see what happened. <clears throat> However, what we have a tendency to do is we investigate projects and we add projects that we feel have some potential. Now, I've liked Helium because Helium is probably one of the only coins that haven't went to Coinbase that are still owned by Peter Thiel, uh, the Founders Fund, which are also the owners of Ethereum, the owners of Facebook, et cetera. So this is the last coin left. And so I added Helium. But I know that the floor, and we're just using a term here, and we're going to call this term the floor. The floor on Helium is between $1.30 to $1.40. What does that mean? That means that if helium crashes, it's going to end up somewhere around $1.30. Now, why is it important for me to know that knowledge? And look, let's look at the charts here. We see helium dip down. It's at $1.27, okay? We see it dip down again. It's at $1.23, okay? So we like to call this the floor, or at least this is probably like the first floor. I think the, the, the floor on this coin is like 80, uh, 90 cents. But the first floor is between probably $1.30 and $1.40. So what you're basically looking for is that, hey, when it does hit this, this bottom area, what number is that? And that says, hey, it's $1.25. That says, hey, it's $1.27. This says, hey, it's actually $1.29. Okay, so what this means is, and this is actually establishing a new floor, so this means that, hey, this coin has a tendency to keep hitting this same floor. So why would I buy this coin at $1.60 right now when it keeps doing this? So simple maintenance allows you to be able to go back in. You go to your traders. And then let's say that Helium trader, which is here. I'm going to set a new floor and I'm going to do that right now because the floor was $1.40. So how I'm doing that is I'm using this option that's called stop purchases. Once again, stop purchases above a certain rate. I'm clicking on that and then I'm saying $1 at this point, $1.30, right? I don't want to go too low, but I'm going to go to $1.30. So I'm telling this trader, hey, don't buy any more helium until it reaches below $1.30. So this is extra maintenance that you can do because you can kind of look at a coin and you can say, well, where's the floor at of this coin? Let's go to Ethereum, right? Because I'm bullish on Ethereum. I know many of us out here are bullish on Ethereum. So where it technically is the floor? And again, these are those that don't want to use the set it and forget it and want to uh, just, you know, completely optimize all the time. But it's interesting because right now we're going par what they call parabolic. So there is really no floor on Ethereum right now. We're just on that huge rise, right? So technically, this floor for me, or the last dip, if you may, was $642. So I may tell, if I want to just be a stickler for detail, I may tell my exchange, my, my, uh, my trader to not trade until it reaches like $700 or something like that. So see, this is, so this is like additional maintenance to where you can kind of determine where the floor of a coin is and you can save the amount of position, you can reduce the amount of positions that you would actually have in the red this way. Now, what ultimately generally is happening, I, now we can't predict the market. I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm only just telling you, hey, this is my experience with it. But if something is going like this and will gradually do this, it means that as you'll see with WealthyBot, even if it takes a position over here at 735, as long as this keeps going up, then it's eventually going to collect profits. However, the techniques that I've showed you today actually allow you to insulate yourself a bit better if you don't see those profits right away. As you can see, there's a ravine, a ravine here. This ravine is lasting for a certain period. You know, you may have been, you know, uh, up here at 630 and it went all the way to 592 or 580. How long did it take for it to get back up here? It took a few days. So that's the interesting thing about this market. Again, because we're in a bull market, is it's not taking a long time for it to recover the positions that have been taken. So what I'm getting at here is, well, I have, of course, one more announcement here. It's actually about our affiliate program. Um, Obviously, in our gateway. Okay, so one of the biggest things that has changed about WealthyBot that we've made some, some updates to is we've changed the gateway. 
So let me just jump in here really briefly and let me go in here to the gateway and show you what we have going on. And this gateway, it's kind of making things a bit more convenient. We were using fiat at first, uh, but now we've installed a cryptocurrency gateway. And I feel like it's a good move for where we're going because it actually allows you to hot swap uh, that means basically put credits into the system because the system when you're making profits, once you come out of a simulator, it works on credit. So you do need to feed it credits based on the profits. So as you see here, all I've done is went to the credit screen to purchase some credits. I put $200 in there and now it's giving me these options. This is the new gateway. Uh, this gateway is run through Coinbase. So you can still use fiat. You can still use credit cards because Coinbase accepts all of that. But also what you can do is you could just use the hot swap system, which is basically the same as Uniswap, which is down here for the coins that we have available. So if I selected Bitcoin, I would literally be able to transfer funds to Bitcoin through, from Bitcoin right from my wallet. So I would sidestep Coinbase technically from their you know, lack of privacy there. And I would be able to add credits into the system. And I'm able to do that through the gateway and that is now how WealthyBot is set up. So that's another massive benefit because, again, it allows you to be able to come right into, uh, into the system and actually do that and maintain some of your privacy. So the last thing here is that I was mentioning is our affiliate program. Because we actually put in this new gateway, which means that we need to test things out, we need to make sure numbers are working properly, we're planning on having that on board probably in the end, by the end of January, maybe towards the beginning of February. And in this time, what this actually allows you to do is begin to invite your friends into WealthyBot, and then you begin to earn credits also for the profits that they're earning within WealthyBot. So this technically, especially if you have a, a pretty good downline, it could keep your WealthyBot fueled with credits as you continuously build profit. And then it would really be a set it and forget it because you wouldn't even have to go in from time to time to add credits. So...